It's almost impossible to fail financially when you make a written budget before the month begins and you follow that budget. When you learn to budget and more importantly, stick to that budget, you will succeed financially, period. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have been on the Dave Ramsey plan for almost two years now. And in that time, we paid off over $125,000 in debt. Whoa, that's a lot of debt. But we still have a lot to go. We are here to walk through this process with you so we can all reach our financial goals together. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. Today, I'm going to walk you through getting started budgeting. But before we get started, you need to do a couple of things. Get online and open up your bank account. If you have any credit cards, open those up too. Go grab a pad of paper, a pencil, and a calculator. Seriously, you want a calculator because not using a calculator is where mistakes happen. Don't add in your head, even if you're awesome at it. Now that you are ready to start budgeting, let's go. Get excited because you're about to change your life. Step number one, understand that we are budgeting for next month. We are not budgeting for the month that we were in. Doing a budget before the month begins is really, really important to successful budgeting. Step number two, on the top of one sheet of paper, you're going to write the word income. Under that word income, you're going to write down every single source of income and the estimated amount that you're going to receive. If you have a salaried job and your job is your only source of income, then this step got real easy. Do you have a side hustle? Maybe you deliver pizzas or babysit. Do you sell things on Facebook Marketplace? Maybe you have a YouTube channel that generates a little bit of income. Do you get alimony or child support? Or maybe at this time of the year, are you getting a tax refund? Any income, no matter the source, is listed here. Remember, this is a zero-based budget. So any cent that you earn in this month is going to get allocated to go somewhere. Step number three, on the top of your second sheet of paper, you're going to write the word expenses. And if you're like me, you may need a couple of sheets of paper with the word expenses on it. True story. In step number three, you are going to start listing every single expense that you can think of. Write the expense and the amount. Seems overwhelming. Let's start with the four walls. The four walls are the four things that are important to keep your life stable. Food, shelter, including utilities, transportation, and basic clothing. Now that you have your four walls covered, it's time to expand into the other categories. Consider some of these things that Dave Ramsey's Every Dollar app recommends. Giving. Do you tithe? Do you regularly give to a charity? Insurance and tax. Do you pay health insurance outside of your paycheck? Life insurance, auto insurance, food. Do you go out to restaurants? Do you pay for groceries, transportation, auto gas, oil? Are you saving to replace your car? Housing. Do you have a mortgage payment or rent? Do you have homeowners association fees? Your water bill, your natural gas and propane bill, your electric bill. Do you have a phone? Do you have a cell phone? Do you have cable? Do you pay a garbage and sewer service? Are you saving for something? Maybe an emergency fund. Lifestyle expenses. Do you have a pet? Do they require care? Clothing, child care, school tuition, subscription payments, sports and entertainment fees, gym membership, and anything else you can think of. And we haven't tackled the biggest one. Do you have any debts? If you have debts, you need to include the amount that you pay monthly to each debt. Maybe for some it's a minimum payment, for others it may be a set amount that you decided to have auto-drafted from your account. If you're new to this channel, every month I go over our budget in detail and I'll go ahead and link a playlist to some of those budgets so you can go ahead and get an idea of the kind of stuff that we put in our budget. If you aren't 100% sure how much something costs, this is why you opened your bank account. 
because you want to go and look, try and get as close to accurate as possible. Want to know how much you spent in groceries last month? Start adding up all of those charges that crossed your checking account or your credit card. But don't freak out when you see how large that number is because that number is almost always shocking to people. Now, if you are one of those people that operates on a cash budget, you will have to estimate how much you spent based on how much cash you took out. And if you don't know, now is the time to start looking exactly at what you're spending because next month has not yet begun. So if you start tracking now, by the time next month starts, you'll be ready to go. Step number five, now that you've done that, let's total up your income and total up your expenses. Step number six, we are going to make our income and our expenses equal. This is the core of zero-based budgeting. As Dave Ramsey says, every dollar has a name. If you discover, like many of us do, that your outgo far exceeds your income, you're gonna start needing to cut some of your more flexible areas. Most people start with groceries and eating out. But look over your whole budget and see if you have some things in there that maybe you don't need. Like for example, do you go to Starbucks every day? That $5 latte gets real expensive over the course of a month. How much you need to cut depends on your income versus your outgo and what your financial goals are. You may find that over time you will start cutting more and more and more so you can reach your financial goals more quickly. So if, however, you find your income exceeds your outgo, for example, you bring in $1,000 every month and your expenses are $750, you have $250 left over. What do you do? That's when you look to Dave Ramsey's baby steps. In our example of the $1,000 income and the $750 outgo, your $250 left over if you were on baby step one would go to getting your emergency fund started. If you're on baby step two, that $250 would go towards your debt snowball. If you're on baby step three, that $250 would go to saving your three to six months emergency fund and so on. Understand that budgeting is a muscle. You need to use it over and over for it to be stronger. There will be mistakes. There will be mistakes, a lot of mistakes in your first three months. I promise you some of the mistakes we made in the first three months were horrific. If you want to see one of those, I'll link it right up here in the eye in the sky. It will easily take you a solid three months to really understand budgeting. And for us, two years later, we still make mistakes, but they aren't as detrimental to our budget anymore. As you go along, your mistakes will be fewer and fewer and fewer. And one day you won't need to fix anything at all. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message in the comments below. I check all my messages all the time and I try and answer them as quickly as possible. If you're new to this channel, every month I go over our budget in detail and I'll go ahead and link a playlist to some of those budgets so you can go ahead and get an idea of the kind of stuff that we put in our budget. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So so I'll see you in the next one. See ya.